Firdos has been walking for three hours, from one pharmacy to the next. He needs injections for his 70-year-old mother. She has cancer. The injections are not available in the market. The situation here is bad. Nothing is available here. Pharmacies in Srinagar are running out of medicine. We don't have 50% of our stock. If the curfew continues, we'll run out of our medicines in 10 or 15 days. Families like these are stuck at home because of security restrictions imposed by the Indian government after it revoked the region's autonomy last week. Phone lines are down and internet is not working. Nobody knows what's happening. Nobody tells us TVs are off, everything is gone, mobiles are off. This is not life, this is not the modern world. This is all gone. I mean, we are living in ancient times. This editor of an English daily says she hasn't been able to reach her journalist in the Kashmir Valley since Monday. She has filed a petition in India's top court to ask the government to lift restrictions on the media. We don't know the truth. We are seeing a lot of different reports and there are very uh, strikingly uh, different versions uh, coming out. Which one is the the authentic uh, picture. It's very difficult to say with certainty. The government says the restrictions are temporary and are aimed at ensuring law and order in the region. But the Editors Guild of India say it's concerned that they are making it difficult to report accurately from the region. And people here say that that vacuum is being filled by misreporting and what they call fake news on the internet. Fact-checkers of the Quint, an Indian online news website, say they have found 13 instances of fake news flooding the internet in recent days. Since there is no communication, we don't know what's happening. So I think when you talk about propaganda, the thing is it becomes very easy for anybody actually on both the sides to just peddle whatever they want, be it fake news, be it the kind of news that they want people to believe in. Back in Srinagar, Firdos finally manages to get one injection for his ailing mother, but not all. He will now have to look elsewhere for another day. As people in Indian administered Kashmir live under these unprecedented restrictions in these uncertain times. Priyanka Gupta, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.